Hello folks and welcome back to Nimazand. Here we are on a cold, crisp January. Uh, we've got a little bit of work to do. Currently we're at almost 1.25 million after that big old session we did yesterday with Sun the Flower, Bread and... Or should I, well this month we did it. Bread, Flower and Cakes. What I'm just going to do now is set the worker off, start doing the fertilizing on our fields. Actually, what's that over there? Is that the cultivator over there? Yes, it is. So we have to move that. But, anyways, we got a few precedent matters to do. For one, we need to top up this, so that is almost out of timber. And the main sawmill is out of timber, so. We need to start cutting down some trees, so let's make a dent in this forest, so. But yeah, we have our money in that. We've got enough to pretty much build the BGA. Oh no. Oh boy, these are too big. They haven't grown for too long, they're massive now. So we're going to have to cut them down ourselves. Oh, that means... Fair enough. We're going to have to get the tree puller and just drag these trees over. But yeah, as I say with the mine that we've got enough for the BGA in that. So do want to build like a proper form BGA. Ooh, what's that doing? It's going all glitchy. No, stay. I want to attach to you. Oh, now you just got in there. Oh, just behave yourself. I'm just going to let that do its thing. Actually, you know what? We'll reset that. here there we go that so just reset those but yeah we'll grab oh where do I leave it to oh just over there Yeah, those trees, they've taken some time to grow now, of course. But it all has been worth it, because that's going to be a lot of logs for us. Yeah, so if we get a few into there, and yeah, cut them up and out if we can to half of sizes, but... I'm not sure if... Really... Yeah, it's going to make some difference. There is a difference between the length of trees you do cut and that. So yeah, it's going to leave some stumps now, but... If we get them as low as we can down. And then she... Just cut a bunch of sound. Not sure how much we can get away with. Two, because how heavy are these? I don't know, maybe get away with three trees. There we go, just get rid of the foliage, because I think that does make some differences. But yeah, with the money as well, I've got some ideas for production chains. So I'm thinking you can get another two productions in that will pretty much do everything that we're currently doing. There's one that is the manure factory, so convert the straw into manure. Because we really do pretty need all of that straw there. There we go. And I'm just 
go and cut this one here down. Let's try for free. And also the extended oil plant. That's the thing, if we get those in between now and March, because yeah, the only thing we're doing in February is the mega field planting of the cotton. Because that is needed, without a shadow of a doubt. And the other productions, yeah, just do the experimenting. Oh, just grab that. Oop. Ow, hurt myself there. But yeah, the rest we can have a look at and experiment with. So, our first lock going in 30 kilograms. And that was only 60 litres, so. Thinking. That and that. Let's grab that over here. No, oh, we'll just drag the two over. It'll be fine. Then say cut them in half. Actually, let's just do a little test here, so 32 and 29 and a half meters. What's this one here? Ah, well, that's because obviously we've cut off the ends, haven't we? So there will be some slight variety. In theory, it shouldn't be that much because it's just the end bits we're getting rid of. complete her task, have they? Uh, apart from that little bit on the end, you know what, I can live with that. And now, yeah, we'll just set it on here onto the mega silage field, or mega grass field, because we will use this grass for hay now, because we did say, when we do our first cut, it's going to be hay, then silage, then hay. Not just gonna set the worker off on that. That's happy bar to move, so I'm just gonna reset that now. But yeah, so these will work cut, so 63 litres. So basically, 9,900 litres there. That's why we didn't cut anything. Let's say if we cut those in half, will we get more or less? And if so, is it significant enough? So. Drag these over. Let's get a bit more over to get an even cut. Look something like that. And just remove the foliage. There we go, 
that's all that, I'll see. So yeah, that was 9,900 or so litres. 9,930 litres. Cut these in, well, not quite half a third in that. Not really, I don't think there was a difference. Not really. So you know what, we'll just get these trees cut down, drag them over, and then, yeah, we'll just do that instead of like, worrying about, ooh, do we need to cut it into smaller portions? I'm sure if you cut them into eight or six meter logs, then that's when you will get a difference. Perhaps at a certain point it goes, or a bit meaningless of how long it is, if it's over, say, ten meters. You'll get the same amount of first 20 or 30 meters, perhaps, but... Yeah, I just want to do a bit of research again, because I know I did Silver Run in that. Uh, yeah, I do want to come back to that map. I may just do... Maybe a bit of a re revamp on that. Who knows? Or continue on the series, but just revamp everything. But yeah, there was like some like horse or equipment that could do the bigger trees. But yeah, again, I I got to do a bit of research on and double check everything. So do one more pit here, and then we'll do the rest in a time map. So timber. may need to buy more fertilizer than that, but again, with the production chains we're going to be getting, that'll solve all of our problems there. There are so many trees here, like, how many trees did we plant? 284, and uh, most of these were here, so, let's say 250 trees we've got here. This is a super dense forest, and surprisingly, the game hasn't had a massive fat farty death yet. Uh, still time for that, so won't get quite too carried away here yet. But yeah, can we pull free trees? All right, looks like we'll climb up this. Okay, you can climb it. No worries. That's the good thing about having a massive tractor like this. We can just cut through the undergrowth and just push our way through. And the other tree is there. Power. Speed and power, that's all you need. Ah, cable's not long enough. And if we. Ah, here we go, that's better. Now we'll grab that. Okay, not quite. Now. Ah, yeah, 6.6 .6 sun, so... Just slightly too big, because these are like 2.3 tons, so... Yeah, that's I wonder if there's a winch system, a three point linkage system, that can pull more than these. I do wonder. If anyone doesn't know that, feel free to let me know, because that would be some useful information. But yeah, so, anyways, we will continue on with this. 
you stop because you decide to crash into the header there for some whatever weird reason. But yeah, we'll get us all finished off. Get as much as we can sent over. And then we'll resume there, I think. done so if we have a look here at our productions both our sawmills are topped up with timber the meat sawmill that will last a while actually you know what's that six thousand seven seven thousand two hundred liters and eight hundred eight thousand liters so that's gonna be more than a year's worth of timber right there in the main sawmill but it means we've got this trailer here that's because I accidentally put some eggs into our silo. I didn't realise that silo over there accepted eggs. Except, I'm guessing, most production chain items perhaps, or just your base game items like wool and eggs perhaps. So yeah, obviously I couldn't spawn back out as padded, so I had to get this and fill it up and... So the animation was like, you know, from a grain in that, grain or a crop going to a trader, so... Well, no, don't go this way. We want to head over here to the market stall. Because even though eggs are starting to take a tumble... Yeah, starting to go down now. 
three thousand quid for these per thousand a year, so you know what? We're gonna sell these so get about thirty four grand for these. And I did lease this track because this was a genuine mistake. Didn't do intentionally off on camera, of course. Always just done off camera whilst just moving some bits around. So once it's returned, we'll return this. That does give me ideas for future ideas. So, yep, yeah, for free. But yeah, anything to use market. Oh, got a knife from the Antero Carrero DLC. And that's the thing as well, like, well, we're like 42 episodes in now. I still gotta do grapes yet. But first of all, we need to start doing the BG build, so. Like I said, most of this land will be consumed by the BG. Because this is our industrial complex, so. So I think if we head over here. Like I did spend some money flattening this out. Because it was some like minor lumpies and bumpies. Couldn't get rid of these textures, so we may do something with that. I'll try again. So paint. Oh, no can. Only to a certain point though. Because technically now it's not on our property, I'm guessing. Yeah, so let's see get rid of these. spend any money on this so don't get rid of some textures but we will go over this afterwards with a fine tooth cone and just like get everything all nice and perfect there we go you know what I'm happy with that for now not so much with this but so yeah if we go into our production chains Batteries, and I just didn't realise I have two biogas plant they like, builds in. So you got the lizard energy ones, but what I want to use is the plan ET ones. So yeah, just having a look here. So we're gonna need a bunker, gonna need a fermenter, liquid digester, convert slurry. From central storage to raw methane. Possibly a secondary digester. Man, this is gonna be complicated, I think. I think bear with me a sec, whilst I need to have a quick look here about all this. So right, have a little look here. This is the planety. Modular BGA by Caster DS Agro Service. And just having a look here on the screen, I may try to put it up here if I remember in the edit. But so basically, your, all your raw materials goes into the bunker. So go into here. Then that goes into the fermenter. Also, any slurry that's put into the slurry storage. So where's that to? So yeah, this one here, that can either go into the liquid digester or the fermenter. Then from the fermenter, it goes into the secondary fermenter and be converted into methane. Or the fermenter could go into create methane. And obviously methane can be used as a cell or distribution to other factories. But also from the fermenter, have a look here, so products from both fermenter, the liquid digester, and the secondary fermenter. Could we also go into digestate storage and also we can sell digestate as a byproduct? So, 
so electricity, sorry, so that requires obviously raw methane. I know just methane, not raw methane. Who is it? Yeah, raw methane to be converted into electricity storage. It's so, alright, I got a good idea, so I think in if you put the big boys down first of all. So things like this, so obviously I guess in it's distributed and there's no input or anything. So I'm guessing somewhere like here perhaps. There we go. So that's the fermenter 400. Then we need the liquid digester. Is it input? Is there? I'm sure I'll make sure I got everything turned on here. So, interactive zoom markers. Yep. So go back down here. I think what I'll do is I'll just put all of it in first of all, and then whatever we don't need in the end. Is there any inputs in here? So I'm going to look in the fermenter. No, I think obviously that will be for the um, what's it with Bob the bunker, so somewhere like that. Bunker of a boy grinder. No real differences here, so thinking something like that. There we go, starting to take shape. So that's the liquid fermenter and the normal fermenter. So now needs was it the secondary? I think we're going to need this, so... Ah, so yeah, that's got to go... Somewhere like that. Okay, that's the post from insert. Now we need the central in your storage. Uh, right, um, I think you know what? Bear with me a sec whilst I do lock this off camera, and then I bring the fruits back when we're done here. It's starting to look a bit complicated here. Alrighty then, so, well. We need more money, we need a couple more hundred grand actually. Man, yeah, that's getting quite expensive out here. So, what we're going to do is sell some milk and then we'll sell whatever size we've got. So, we can put you over there. Actually, where is the best place to sell milk? Uh, da, 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 da. BGA farm shop. Well, not BGA, sell everything container. So, yeah, we'll go and sell that. And then we'll sell the. What's it? Silage. Alrighty then, so we got 91 grand from the milk. We did spend about 35 or so grand a greenish trader to have a half a million year capacity. Now it's time to sell the silage. So we've got this over here, we've got another half mil we'll sell now. But well, do you want to try to wait till February? 
because that's where the price is it's sort of at its peak or between now and yeah so 177 grand I think one more load and then that's be enough for to finish rebuilding or building the BGA so let me grab that load and then we'll do a final sell and there we go the final load so I'm gonna sell that but then also we're gonna think about sell a bit of TMR we've got about a hundred thousand euros in here still enough food for the cows I don't think we ever get into any kind of emergency, we can always buy a emergency supply of TMR. But yeah, we should get about another 177 grand from that. But now, this is actually worth it, so... That's the thing, it's got TM silage, hay and straw, so... This should be worth quite a bit. 170,000 litres. No idea how much it should get. Yeah, not even close to what I was expecting. I was more expecting like 34, 35 grand as a minimum. That'd be for like the equivalent in silage if that was just pure silage. But because it's TMR, it's worth less than just like on its own so but anyways pretty much this is almost done almost got the base foundation down so the finish is off and see you folks in second year there we go it is done it's been decorated and here we are at our brand new BJ which is incorporated with all our other production chains. So yeah, we've got two huge bunker side clamps, so he uses to make silage. If we want to do it the traditional way of compacting it in that. I mean, yeah, they're huge. I've got two of those. But yeah, so now, quite a few icons, so turn off and hop out. Let's start from this end. So over here we've got two methane storages. It will store methane and two electricity storages. And over here we've got this which is the generator. So this will convert raw methane into electricity. And some of these, so these will convert raw methane into normal methane. And over here, I don't know, it's just popping up. We've got again another storage, so we've got plenty of ways of converting and storing the methane. No idea of how much we're going to actually use for this. But yeah, the electricity storage, we can either sort out, so we can say, source some, obviously to power all this. And then the other bits we can... Next, we've got the central liquid manure storage. So this will have slurry, and convert that into either fermented slurry or liquid fermented slurry. And that's this thing here. So I think this... Is the large post yet? Why is that? No, no, that is the no, central digestive storage. Is this one here? So this will put storable ferments fermentation residue. Convert that into digestate. And then obviously we got our bio grinder here. So we could put silage, manure, sugar beet, or sugar beet cut. And it's a one to one. It is just converts it into more of a suitable produce. So 
Actually, let's, let's go and test this in a sec. So, let's get some um, silage. So, we'll get silage into the boy grinder. That will then go into our big boy here, the fermenter. So, we can have that as post, set that into the post fermenter or convert it into digestate. Also, we get raw methane. I think we want the so that is the fermentation residue so that next will go into so I've got so ah right so that makes sense so either from fermentation residue or storable residue then this will be used as a post fermenter so it converts some of that residue into sorable residue okay and then we can convert that sorable residue into digestate so I'll turn that on turn that on no we're not using anything do you want soldable methane? I don't think so. But yeah, we want that, we want electric power, turn that on, so that will store. So fermentation residue is yep, so we want that. So that's on, that's on. No, we don't want that. I think if we do both, that should work. Like, yeah, let's go and get a tray load of sorry, just a sec. And there we go with 50,000 years of cheap silage we bought. So, it's only purely just to test this, so. We oh, don't say we've got to load it in. Ah, looks like it. You know what? I've got an idea for that. So, if we go to our belt systems, is it this one that could do it? Looks like it. 38 grando. You know what? That'd be a better solution for now until we can get a Let's tab over. There we go. That'll be a solution for now until we get another 200, 300 grand. And that's when we start looking at getting a wheel loader. That's the thing, that's even if we want to go down that particular route. We may just stick with this. Go get hooked up. So in theory, we should be able to empty into this, and then empty directly into the Tokyo Drift. Oh, oh, too much drifting. No, no. Pack on your wheels. No, there we go. Also, you see, we put a bunch of powerful spotlights in to illuminate the BGA, along with our Surrey Yard over there. So. Here it should work. Must be for me, slightly shy. We don't want to do bells anymore. We'll get too many bells because of the current issues we're having. Get a long enough belt system, fill this up, compact it, manage to empty it, uncover it, and feed the slightly directly to here. So. It's going to be a little test here, so versus in. Well, oh, so I'll put you there. And then we'll manually move ourselves. So I want to get position myself here. If I 
I'll just lower this. Just let's raise up a bit. There we go. That's in position. Please let me empty this into here. So I do want to, have to pick this up. So there we go. Go is emptying. One. Find that point again. There we go. Try to find a way to get a good thumbnail for this. Yeah, somewhere like that. Yeah, so he makes 50,000 years of fight just going in. And it should be all converted into our thingy with bobs and bits. So let's go and fast forward a bit. Process all that signage. Not that long. Oh, okay, sugar beets also going into here, so. And now, if we go into our production chain, obviously, turn that off. Wait. Yeah, turn that off. Ah, no, we want to distribute that, so. That's what we should have done. Have to wait another hour. So if we continue on sending that over. Okay, I'm just gonna this sort of skip ahead another hour or two. Shouldn't take too long for everything to be processed. That, that's our lighting coming on. So there we go, seven o'clock. Do we need any more lighting? Try to think of go to decorations, not landscaping. Now these ones are right. So we're going to have one for, say, here. If we want to drop anything off overnight. I get another one, like, there. But anyway, so back into our production chain. So, I'm guessing everything's been... Ah, I really forgot to set everything to distribution. Alright. Bear with me a sec. No, we don't want that. Or do we? No. Yes, so that's, that's the distribution. So just from all that size going in, we got 30,000 litres of raw methane and 21,000 litres of fermentation residue and storable residue. Okay, so next, so I just want to set everything to distribution. Distribution just so that we can get electricity and methane. That's all I want. Inferior, yeah, we're going to get some in here, I'm assuming. Okay, well, is everything for methane? On its own here, no, so just normal methane, I guess, and it's the final product. So, all right, let's skip ahead a bit more time because I didn't do things correctly. But yeah, this is looking really good. All right, so you know what? I was gonna skip until the morning. And then it's where we'll finally see our final sum. All 
Alrighty then, so it's the next morning. Okay, our animals are doing alright. No, not the cows are out of food, they're starving, they're gonna die, but apart from that. Have a look, so we've got a bit of raw methane. Be able to use as uh, that. We don't want that. I sure really think we should get rid of that because I don't need that yet. Uh, so might as well turn that on for now, I'm guessing. But yeah, so we've got quite a bit of electricity. And we've got a bit of methane as well, so... Sleep ahead another hour to get rid of everything. Make sure everything has been processed. But you're not selling anything at the moment, so got 69,000 litres of digestate. So all in all, from 50,000 litres of silage, we've got 69,000 litres of digestate. Got a bit of methane there. Uh, methane storage. So methane storage and convert raw methane to methane. We need to get rid of those because we don't want raw methane. So you know what, I'm just going to turn those on, set that to distribution or whatever, but yeah, so let's set all this to sell, so sell that, sell that, just making sure everything else is done, got a little bit of sugar beet, we could use that, whatever, not too worried about that. Digestate will keep for now. So yeah, we're getting a decent chunk of money per hour. But how much money we'll get on top of this? I do wonder. Whoa! Alright, so that's about 60 grand all in all from the electricity, give or take. Okay, this has got methane, don't we? As such, thankfully, this is full, so any methane being sent will be sent over here. Then, what we have to do is just get our methane truck or methane tanker and then sell that. So, you know what? Overall, that is a pretty good setup, I think. So, yeah, just get our own BJ in. And this gives us enough money actually, fine enough, about the wheel loader for that or some more production chains. Which I will be putting in at some point. But anyway, so next time we need to do some herbicide in as well as getting our mega field planted off the sugar beet. Not not sugar beet, a hum cotton actually when can we plant sugar beet or have I missed the window already shouldn't have sugar beet is in March so we may actually end up doing a sugar beet field I'm not sure what I'm going to do about this section here I'm sure now but anyways that's where we're going to leave it today as always hope you enjoyed the episode if so Smash that button, feel free to down below. If you want to share something, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But for those to do, hope you're gonna stay. But for now, this will be Farmer Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.